Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to do in this um, video of our SOHO network deployment is we're going to take a look at our access point and we are going to get it set up with some SSIDs that uh, correlate to our VLAN. So this is the GWN 7624. This is the Grandstream, one of the Grandstream in-wall APs. Here's the cover. I like it. It's, it's kind of textured. And it makes this, it's its like, it's got rag, like ridges. So uh, then there's a spot there for your LED indicator, of course, grand stream down here. And down here you can see these are labeled. So you have a, uh, you have two PoE outs. You have an A and a B, you have three LANs, and then LAN one is not PoE. And then here is the wall plate for mounting this to a gang box, single gang. And then here is the AP itself. You've got a cable, your Ethernet cable that comes in the back. And then you've got your ports on the bottom. You've got a reset there. Um, really nice streamline. And then, of course, there's your LED. So let's go ahead and hop over. So I fired up my router. Now, this is plugged into uh, port 7 of the switch. So we'll get to that here in a second. But I needed to know that. I'm going to go ahead and set it back over here. I found it in the clients on the GWN 7002. It is plugged into port 7. You can see, see here. And the default password, so the default username is admin, and then the default password is here on the front. So I'm going to have to change that. But for now, we're going to type this in, and I'm actually going to see if I'm going to have to take a picture of this or if I'm going to be able to type this. And, um, you know, part of the aging process, you know, sometimes your eyes, did I get it? I got it. Okay, so it's got a setup wizard. Um, and so uh, you can see that it is a single master AP. I don't know that there's any reason to run this, but we can run, we can run through it real quick. It shows us the MAC address. I'm going to change this IP on it to 10.3, but the... The uh, first thing that I want to do, let's see, actually what I want to do right now, also it's broadcasting an SSID that has its MAC address in it. But what I want to do real quick, this is, uh, I want to go to, let's see, admin, and I had, up, I had plugged this in and upgraded it to the, um, to the latest version. But what I did was I went to system and settings, and now we're going to go to account, and I'm going to put this password in, and then I'm going to change it to match the lab password. Man, I think that's right. We'll know. <laughs> we'll know here in a second. And we're going to put our new admin password in. I'm not going to mess with the user password. Holy shnikes. And if we save this and it comes back okay, then I guess I got the password right. So we'll apply it. It's going to restart the services here. And it says it was successful. So uh, also under the system settings, you can see we've got uh, LED. We can schedule that LED. We can change a management VLAN on this. We can enable the rebind protection, legacy TLS, which if you've got APs that are on older firmware and you're managing them, uh, you may have to select that. We've got our uh, mesh set up. There's an access point topology that's in here. Um, by the way, we're going to end up joining all of this gear over to GWN.cloud. Well, actually, we'll probably do our own on-prem GW manager is probably what I'm going to do. But you should see the update. If you ever check out GWN.cloud, um, as soon as those changes get pushed to the local controller, that's when I'll do that video. But you should see, you should see the changes that came through. It's absolutely fantastic. Here's that schedule that you can create. We've got our maintenance. So upgrade. And we've also got uh, syslog. We can fire our syslogs off to another server. You can download, up, up, download and upload configurations. 
Here's our alerts. We can set up email alerts, which is fantastic. But let's go ahead and real quick, what we're going to do is uh, we'll take a look at the rest of these when we get there. But what we want to do is we want to change, first of all, we want to change the um, IP address of this over to 10 dot three. So we're going to edit this. We're going to call this uh, Soho AP. We're going to use a fixed IP version four. We're going to make that three. And for now, we're just going to throw this out there. And you can see the other things that it wants to know. Do we want to use, you know, the, the LED? Do we want to use the system settings? Do we want to override that? Same with band steering, scheduling, uh, disabling port, uh, link one, LAN one link type. Is it a trunk or an access? What's our PVID? What are our allowed VLANs? So you can see we can configure each of those ports on here as well, which is absolutely fantastic. We're going to go ahead and save that and apply it. And then we're going to have to go to our new uh, IP address. I'm not sure if it's going to redirect us automatically or if it's uh, going to come back with nothing. We'll see what happens here. All right, so we got this network error, so we're going to have to go ahead and put our IP in there. And we'll have to log back in, which is no big deal. And we are not going to do the wizard. So now we will see that now we're on uh, 10.3. So um, the next thing that we're going to do is go to our switch. And we're going to go to switching and VLAN. And we are going to make sure that our guest and our IoT and our voice, so 10, 11, and 16, we're going to make sure that those are all tagged on port, port 7. So let's see here. PVID is 1. That's what we want. Accept all. It's going to be a trunk, which is... Uh, perfect and so seven we can do what did we say it was going to be uh, it's going to be 10 11 and 16 on seven so we're going to do 10 11 16 untagged as one and we're going to save that so uh, we're not going to do wireless cameras, so that's why we're not uh, putting uh, the CCTV VLAN across that. So now we have all of our other VLANs tagged. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to set up a, well, first of all, we're going to edit the default, and we're going to call this one... Um, wh-lab and this is going to be the vlan that or this is going to be the the pvid of one this is going to be the network that is you know on vlan one untagged so just our 192 168 10 network and i'm going to just change this one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and we are not going to hide it and Right now, we are going to just leave uh, everything as default for now. And then we're going to add another one, and we're going to call this wh-lab- We're going to call this one guest. And we're going to enable it, and it will be a bridge, and then we're going to put a VLAN on it, and we're going to put vlan 10 it is going to be dual band we are going to require a password 
And then we're going to do client isolation. And if you look at the client isolation, we have three options, radio, internet, or gateway Mac. So if we use our little tool tip, it tells us radio is isolated among each other within the same SSID. Internet is all wireless stations are isolated among each other. And all private network addresses are also isolated. And then the gateway Mac is all wireless stations are isolated among each other and all private network addresses other than the gateway are isolated. So we could um, uh, go to internet or uh, gateway Mac for this particular example. I'm not going to change any of these other uh, settings at the moment. We're going to go ahead and save that. And I'm going to go ahead and add another one, which will be our IOT. And we're going to enable it. It's going to be VLAN 11. And we're going to do client isolation. I mean, a lot of your stuff has to talk to a server on the internet. If it doesn't, then that's another conversation. I did a, a, a video um, where we talked about where we talked about that. And this one is going to be the last one is going to be voice, which will be VLAN 16. Excuse me. Uh, let's see here. And I'm not going to do the isolation for the voice. I am going to enable uh, enterprise voice on that. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now, there is one uh, thing. I need to check these settings real quick because we do need to make sure that um, each device has, has this and that we enabled all the SSIDs. Okay, so now you can see we have 130 changes. We're going to go ahead and apply that. And those are going to um, apply. And then, in theory, if I go to my phone and I go to Internet, in theory, here in a second, I should see all of these uh, networks pop up. So we'll see what happens here. So you can see that the um, WH Lab Guest, uh, WH Lab, Lab Guest, Lab IoT, and Lab Voice are all now showing up. Now the access point is still reconfiguring. So we'll have to give it a second. But at this point, we could stop. We could start letting uh, people on now with the, the isolation. Now we need to talk about firewall rules and things like that. Now, there's also another way that you can take this further. You can do uh, access control list, time policy, bandwidth rules. We can do um, all kinds of things. So if we wanted to add a uh, like a guest... Um, we could do per client, per MAC address, per IP address, or per SSID. So we're going to do, we could do uh, per, per client. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make the upload limit 3 megabits and the download lim limit 6 megabits for guest. And we'll go ahead and save that. And now that is enabled. So what I'll do is as soon as this restarts, I will hop on to... The guest so it looks like it's done so let's see if I see the SSID here and it is guest and it's asking me for the password one two three four five six seven eight nine zero super duper hard uh, password for the lab here so it is now connected to uh, WH lab guest 
And if I show you this, you're going to see that I have an IP address of 10.0.0.75. Uh, but what I want to do now is, uh, so I am linked. So if I go to clients, I'm linked at 700 and, uh, 866 megs down, 585 up. Um, I should show up here sh shortly. There it is. So Pixel 6, uh, transmit and receive rates here. Now, if I pull up my speed test, let's see here, speed test. I know I've got it on here. I need to set up an, uh, another internal uh, speed test. Um, but if you can see this right now, you can see that the, uh, the bandwidth throttling that we set up has kicked in and is working pretty darn pretty darn well so we were right at that six meg down 5.7 to 6 and then on the um, upload you can see that we're between uh, three and four so our bandwidth throttling is working perfectly on this now there's a lot of other things that you can do too uh, as far as like captive portal but we can also run uh, captive portal through the router, which if we are going to um, link the router or link the access point to the router, uh, we could do that. Now, I, at some point here, am going to link all of these, like I said, to either GW Manager. So I'm hoping that this week that, that they release that since they've updated uh, GW Manager, uh, GWN.cloud. Uh, um, because I'd like to, they've got some other things in there like WireGuard now, um, and you can control all these devices. And what I really want to show you is how, you know, they've got the, the, the map, you know, the, the network map and all that. And I wanted to show that to you. And I wanted to show you that their approach to managing the full stack, which is to actually give you access to everything the devices do. So when you're using either GWN manager or, uh, GWN.cloud, their goal is to let you have as much flexibility with the configuration as, as possible, right? So they are exposing tons and tons of configurations within their controller, and that's kind of setting them apart a little bit. So we've done our, our router slash firewall, our switch, and now our access point. So um, in the next few videos, I want to talk about adding a phone system. I want to talk about some firewall rules. Let me know what you want to see down in the comments, and we will make sure that we're addressing things that, that you all want to see. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links for hardware if you'd like to support the channel and a Patreon link. And as always, if you need IT consulting, you want to uh, talk about setting up a new network, redoing a network, if you need voice, uh, security, wireless, storage, all those things, uh, reach out at willyhow.com. There's a contact form right there on the front page. Fill that out and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.